Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this topic is ADC that is analog to digital converter in PIC 18F microcontroller. As the name indicates, it is analog to digital conversion. If you are selecting any input which is analog in nature, you cannot directly apply to the microcontroller. We need to convert it into digital form. So for that, ADC is used. So from the exam point of view, we may expect the question like this, draw the functional block diagram of ADC and explain its working. So this block indicates the diagram, functional diagram of ADC in PIC 18F XXXX microcontroller. The first block is 10 bit analog to digital converter. So as the name indicates, it converts 10 bits uh, in digital form. Here I have shown reference voltage. This block diagram, I mean working of this block diagram will be more clear after discussing this different control registers which are used in ADC. So from this point, input voltage is applied and different channels are shown. Channel number AN0 to AN12. So total 13 channels are shown. These are the corresponding bits CHS3, CHS0. Just like I have told you, we will control register. We will discuss these bits. Select karke, depending on the different configuration. Just like 0, 0, 0, 0. I mean, these bits are CHS3, CHS2, CHS1 and CHS0. So four bits are there. Total combinations will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1. If combination is 0, 0, 0, 0, then corresponding pin will be AN0. Likewise, for uh, 1100, it will be AN12. So this configuration, I mean this switching action depends on the bits contained in CHS3 and CHS0. As I have told you, we are going discuss these bits. What is the working of significance? Hai. Next is, I have shown a reference voltage over here. So this is the reference voltage from which we are getting positive reference value as well as negative reference value. Two more voltages are available. One is VDD and another is VSS. Again, we have to make use of the control register to choose which particular reference is to be selected. Now I have written few points. ADC operates when device is in sleep mode. This is very, very important characteristics of the ADC. Even if the device is in sleep mode, ADC will operate. But in that case, since the device is in switch mode, it cannot uh, take the clock signal uh, from the device, but it makes use of the clock signal, which is internally generated by RC oscillator in, in the ADC. Then the conversion is taking place with the help of successive approximation technique. It is one of the techniques to convert analog signal into digital signal. So each input port pin can be worked work or can be operated as analog input or digital input and output. Now, after completion of analog to digital conversion, the result, I mean 10 bit result is stored in ADRESH and that is higher register, higher A to D uh, register and ADRESL. This result will be stored in 10 bits, remaining bits will be unused. Now after completion of this, after storing the uh, result, like the earlier uh, applications, the corresponding flag that is analog to digital uh, conversion flag will be activated. Now let us discuss this control register. Just like I have told you, your answer must include this control register, which is simple, and explanation is related to this control register. So first control register is analog to digital uh, control register zero. These are the positions. So this bit is bit number seven. This is bit number zero. Total eight bits are there. Bit number seven and six are unused. These bits CHS3, CHS2, CHS1, CHS0, which I have shown over here, these are the four bits which decides a particular channel that I have already explained. Then the first bit, this is zero bit, this is first bit, it is go or done bar bit. It is used to start and monitor end of convergence, end of convergence of uh, analog to digital. Next is ADON that is ADC feature is on. What happens whenever uh, the microcontroller is powered on 
ADC is not switched on just to save the power. So you will have to switch on the ADC analog to digital conversion whenever required. Just say, I have told you, when you power on the microcontroller, ka, to ADC feature off rahega by default. Jaha requirement hai, wahan pe hum log usko on karenge by choosing this bit. So this is ADC feature on bit. This is about ADC control register zero, which is used to select a particular channel. Yahan pe maine se channel dikha hai zero 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 se leke one 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 tak. Actually the starting point is zero 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 till one 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 because there are four bits, so total there will be sixteen combinations. But after this, remaining combinations are unused. Then ADC control register one. This control register is basically used to select a particular reference voltage. जो मैंने यहाँ पे explain किया है. What are the voltages available? Plus reference, plus V reference, minus V reference, plus VDD and uh, VSS. So uh, these two bits are unused, unimplemented. VCF G one. If this bit is one. Reference voltage will be negative reference voltage, and if it is B, uh, zero, VSS will be selected. If this bit is one, reference voltage will be positive. When zero, VDD. These bits, PCFG three, PCFG two, PCFG one, and PCFG zero are used as a port configuration bit. So to configure the port, these four bits are used. Next is. ADC control register two. So this control register is basically used to control the acquisition time of the ADC, and it is also used as a clock select bits. So first bit, I mean seventh bit, <clears throat> is ADFM. Uh, you have an option whenever the conversion is completed, you have to store the data in uh, uh, this thing ADRESH and ADRESL uh, registers. But you have an option. The data which which is stored in these two registers can be right justified or left justified. So if this bit is one, it indicates right justified. For zero, it indicates left justified. Then these bits A C Q T two, A C Q T one, and A C Q T zero are used for are used as an acquisition select. Bits acquisition time select bits. So accordingly, by uh, choosing different uh, contents of these bits, the acquisition time can be controlled or can be adjusted. The last three bits, that is bit number zero, one, two, ADC S two, ADC S one, and ADC S zero. These are basically clock select bits. So the available clock frequency from the microcontroller is f oscillator so you by choosing different configurations of the bit you can uh, you can choose the frequency as f oscillator divided by 16 or f oscillator by 32 f oscillator by 64 and so on so this is about the block diagram of adc in pic microcontroller next part is features of adc in pic microcontroller <clears throat> so this is the list of features It has 10 bit resolution. जैसे हम लोगों ने डिस्कस किया है एनालॉग सिग्नल इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू टेन इक्वेलेंट डिजिटल बिट सो द रिजोल्यूशन इज टेन बिट टोटल थर्टीन चैनल्स आर यूज इससे पहले के डायग्राम में हम लोगों ने डिस्कस किया है सो दीज आर फ्रॉम नंबर जीरो 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 टू वन 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 Uh, and these channels can be, uh, I mean, selected by choosing the corresponding bits in the ADC control register. That also we have discussed. So total thirteen channels are supported. They are related to port A, E, and port B. Then VDD, which is shown in the earlier block diagram, acts as a source for V reference. That is reference voltage. The converted data we already discussed is stored into two bits or uh, two registers. ADRESL and ADRESH. Actually, these are individually eight bit registers. So total there will be sixteen bit registers. The other bits, I mean, after storing the converted data, the remaining bits are unused. Then F oscillator, that is frequency of oscillator, decides the conversion time. Three control registers are used that we already discussed: ADC, ADC ON zero, then ADC ON one and ADC ON two. These are the ADC control registers. It converts analog signals into ten digital signals. That's why the resolution is ten bit. So, dear students, this is the last topic for unit number uh, four. 
for the subject microcontroller so that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video